All right. I don't know if you can. Maybe you can see this. Maybe you can't. I got a 1.8 liter 2002 Nissan Sentra. It's Nissan twin cam, 16 valve, uh, simple spark plug replacement. Uh, if it's your first time, you might feel uneasy, and so then maybe it doesn't seem so simple. We got here are four coils, <clears throat> probably one, two, three, four. So we're going to take off these 10 millimeter bolts here. I'll disconnect the coils. We'll probably have to do this. There might not be enough slack to just pull it out. We'll see. And we'll get to the spark plugs. A basic selection of tools here. 5 8 spark plug socket. The difference between this is they put a little bushing in there. It actually holds the spark plug in place. Dissect. Ten millimeter bolt from the ignition. It's a good friendly reminder from just a minute ago when I had mentioned that. Are they gonna come out without? Oh yeah. Don't worry about ripping down the ignition <laughs> or primary ignition circuit wire. Now this last one I would not pull out, it's pretty tight, so we'll take that off, like that, alright, nice. Second off, no one put the wire in your pocket knife. Cut the one. We got our little, we got a little extension on here. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Do a couple. The spark plugs are on there nice, stays in place. Regular spark, regular 5.8 socket won't do that. Pulled a couple out, look pretty good. Uh, they're platinum plugs, uh, they do not recommend that you cap. Platinum plugs, they come pre-gapped. Uh, unless they've been dropped, they should be right. Of course, take a look at them. Make sure there is a gap there. And look pretty even. Uh, apparently, if you try and gap them, they say you can scratch the porcelain, or the huh, porcelain. You can scratch the platinum and cause issues with it. So it won't last as long as it's supposed to. We got a new plug. We put a little uh, anti-seize on the threads. Come in a couple different colors, just what the base is. So, we've got ours here. Got a little anti seize. We're going to put this on all the plug threads. Stick it right in there. In the hole. Always start these by hand. Again, don't use a wrench, you could cross thread them. And they seem to go down pretty good. Often on spark plugs, it's a good idea also if you have air to blow compressed air in there to clean out the cylinder. Although with a coil on plug, it's got to be pretty doggone clean usually in there. So we feel we've touched bottom. And we're just going to go but it's a quarter and a half. about that. So that's about uh, uh, 180, about 200 degrees I guess. Something like that. But there you saw how much it took to tighten up. That's pretty good. <clears throat> the one last thing we do use to a little bit is called dielectric grease and that just helps Make sure the electricity goes where it's supposed to under the plug and not on the boot or anywhere. Also, it makes removal a little easier for spark plug boots. Keeps the boot from sticking to the spark plug on the porcelain. Put some in there and we'll maybe work it around a little bit.
grab it down there, put your 10 millimeter bolt in, snug it up. So that's pretty much it. Uh, really the same procedure for each plug. So good luck to you. I'm sure you can uh, take care of it after watching this video. Spark plug replacement for a Nissan Sentra 2002. You can see a little square piece in the center that catches on. Just gonna push this tab down to release it. Have it come off.